So thus far, we've been looking at how to determine the concentration of the ions from a insoluble salt if I'm giving it a KSP. Now we're going to flip that around and calculate a KSP if I'm given the equilibrium concentration of one of the ionic species from an insoluble salt. So we're going to be going the other way. So here I take um, lead to iodide and I'm uh, saying that once I've reached equilibrium or saturated solution, I have a method of determining the concentration I minus. So there are electrodes and other fashions to determine what this concentration is in solution. If I understand what the concentration of I minus is in my saturated solution of lead to iodide, I can then find the KSP from it by looking at the equilibrium expression um, and the um, solubility product. So here, the first thing I want to do is look at the disassociation reaction and come up with the basic solubility product. So lead to iodide, it, when this breaks up, it's going to be making lead two plus and then two from the subscript there, two I minus. And then if I understand that um, we're going to disassociate S amount of lead two iodide, we're going to make S amount of lead two plus and then two S of I minus. So this is where it gets a little tricky. You gotta remember that this S value is independent of stoichiometry. So it's very easy to take some given information. So here I've given you the concentration of I minus and say, that's the concentration, therefore this is S. So this 2.4 times 10 to the minus third molar is equal to S for my um, insoluble salt. And here we see that that's not true. So don't make that mistake just because you're given a concentration of a species does not mean that concentration is equal to S. You need to look at the disassociation reaction and look at how the species relates to the solubility. So in fact, the concentration of I minus is equal to 2S in this case. So that's a very, it's very tricky, but this is what happens sometimes with these types of calculations. So although I've given you the concentration of I minus, I wanna to get to S. So in order to find the KSP for this reaction, I need to get to the molar solubility, I need to get to S, but I need to realize that the concentration of I minus is equal to 2S in this case. So I take that concentration um, that I was given and realize that this is equal to 2S now. So I've got to take that concentration of iodine and divide by two, that will give me S. So S in this case is 1.2 times 10 to the minus third. So then I come up with my solubility product. So products divided by reactants, the solid does not make it. Um, KSP is equal to the concentration of lead to um, two plus times the concentration of I minus. And then this is raised to the second power because there's a two, a stoichiometric two in front of iodine. This is going to be raised to the second power. I take this algebraic expression and plug it into my solubility product. So lead two plus is S, uh, concentration I minus is two S. Um, and then I got to square this. So when I combine this together to get my um, equation for S related to KSP, S times S squared gives me uh, three S and then this two is inside of the bracket, it's squared. So KSP is equal to four S cubed. So once I have this, it's not too bad because I have calculated what S is in this case by uh, looking, taking the concentration of I minus divided by two that gives me S. I can take this value for S and plug it directly into this equation. So I take S and I gotta raise it to the third power. Um, so once again, this is a function on your calculator. Uh, mine, it says X to the Y. I enter in the number 1.2 times 10 to the minus third. I hit the function and then I enter in three and then I hit calculate and that raises this number to the third power. So with other solubility products, this number can vary. It can be four, five, six, things like that. So you need to understand how to make your calculator do this calculation. So I take 1.2 times 10 to the minus third, raise it to the third power, multiply by four, that gives me the KSP. So this um, KSP for the uh, lead iodide. So this is the other version, so it's kind of a mirror image of what we've been calculating. Here I give you the equilibrium concentration of something. I then find S from that, and then I plug the S value in into this um, algebraic expression for KSP, and then from that I can calculate the KSP. So one final note, and I kind of mentioned this earlier, that uh, due to the uh, complexity of solubility calculations, it's very hard to compare the solubility of one salt and another one. It's very difficult to say, oh, this salt is more soluble than this salt, because you, you can see coming up with S can be kind of a difficult calculation. 
So the one thing we can say is that solubility tends to increase as we get to a larger KSP. Well, that's true. And it's very difficult to compare reactions unless they're very similar. But in general, you, um, you want to try to avoid comparing the solubility of two reactions just by plainly looking at the uh, KSP value.